Science Class with Mr. London. Hey, good afternoon, good morning, class. Um, we've been talking about light waves and how light travels, and we know that light travels in a straight path. Um, we're going to continue our investigation of waves, and uh, we are going to start talking about sound waves and how sound travels. Our uh, I can statements for Lab 8 will be, I can identify sound as an example of a wave, and I can describe how vibrations in matter produce waves. A question I want you guys to think about is how do you think sound travels? And how do you think sound is made? Go ahead, share your thoughts with your table partner. Now that you've talked with your partner about how you think sound travels and how you think sound is made, um, I'm going to show you a little demonstration about sound. And I want you to think when you watch this demonstration of how sound travels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put 100 milliliters of water in each glass. All right. So I have 100 milliliters of water in each glass. I'm going to stick this copper wire on one of the glasses. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make that wire move by sound. Okay. The glasses are not touching. I know some of you guys can't see it now, but tomorrow you will. So the glasses are not touching. I'm going to do it by sound. I'm going to make that wire move. It's almost like a magic trick. Oh, I know. Yeah. It's moving right now. I'll readjust it. There we go again. Now, in the wine glass demonstration, you saw that wire move. A couple of things I want you to think about is, what did you observe? What do you think made that wire move? And go ahead and talk with your partner and come up with an agreement of why you think that wire moved. Now, turn your, uh, open your journals to page 32. And number one, I want you guys to draw and label a diagram of the glass demonstration. After you have drawn and labeled the demonstration, go ahead and answer number two of describe what you think is happening to make the wire move. Okay, now we're going to continue on to page 33. If you look at page 33, I want you to read steps 1 through 8 so you have understanding of the slinky demonstration that we're going to do in the hallway.
way, as you guys are doing the slinky demonstration, I want you guys to look at the waves. They're a little different than the light waves that were traveling back and forth. And as you can see, there's a peak and a trough. This time, with sound waves, they're compressions. They still have wavelengths between each compression is a wavelength. And as I speed it up, you'll see the wavelengths get shorter. And just like light waves, the shorter the light wave, the higher the energy. So shorter the sound wave, the more energy and more frequency is taking place. And as a reminder, when we're using the slinkies, they stay on the ground. We do not pick them up. Good.